This is First Alert Weather. Well, taking a look here at 78th and Davis here in northwestern Shawnee County. Things are looking like a pretty clear start to our day. Some light clouds there visible in the background, but for the most part, we are expecting to be mostly sunny today in sharp contrast from yesterday where we had some severe storms pushed through the region and this camera in particular getting a very nice shot of that shelf cloud coming in last night before we really started to see those uh, high winds and heavy rains push through. We take a look at our live storm tracker right now where we can see what's left of that storm system is still present here in the Midwest, but is now much further off to the east parts of Indiana, Kentucky and Tennessee, getting some moderate rain here without any threat of severe weather, just some downpours that are locally a little bit on the heavy side. But all the way through last night, past yesterday afternoon when it struck northeast Kansas, we had severe warnings all the way through parts of Missouri, Arkansas into Oklahoma. So it was a very large scale event here, not just confined to our immediate region, but uh, definitely seeing quite a uh, severe weather day here for much of the central U.S. with a very strong uh, total here of uh, those uh, rains, winds, even some large hail. Uh, we take a look at precipitation totals, which uh, for today hasn't been much, but uh, uh, for yesterday here we did have those uh, totals re reaching almost two inches in places like Lawrence, Topeka had about uh, an inch and a half or so. So a lot of those areas in and around the Kansas River got some of those heaviest rains and that definitely made for uh, some uh, flash flooding situations on top of those severe storm warnings last night, which uh, again definitely kind of stresses out that issue here of staying off the roads and trying to stay safe in the severe weather events. But looking ahead towards the next several days, we can see that chances of any rain here, let alone severe weather, are going to be a little on the lower side here. Some uh, isolated to scattered storms are going to be possible tomorrow night. And while there's a very slim chance we could have some of those storms on the stronger side. Uh, overall, I think it's going to be unlikely. And after that here Monday onward, we're really not looking at too much of a uh, threat there for any sort of inclement weather. Again, here's that storm risk for tomorrow night. As I was mentioning here Sunday PM, this marginal risk here, the lowest classification of that risk, which definitely means we could see some of those stronger storms, but uh, not all that likely. And uh, you can see that it doesn't cover the entire region of Northeast Kansas, just uh, most of us in that northern half for today, though. 92 degrees is where we should be at warm and calm here. We're going to have mostly sunny skies. No chances for rain here for uh, virtually any of us. We've seen a lot of that energy move out with last night's storm systems. 67 degrees for tonight, though. It'll be another warm night and uh, again, a lot of calm weather as well here. Yet last night we actually had a pretty calm end to the night and day, but uh, I think we can kind of expect something similar here heading into uh, uh, tonight as well. Over the weekend, we'll stay pretty warm in the lower 90s and uh, probably not changing those temperatures very much at all in the near future. We'll have those rain chances again Sunday night and 